conservative commentator Ann Coulter is well known for her fiery antics. Which is why her recent comments about former President Obama and current President Trump should not be at all shocking. On Saturday Coulter appeared on Fox News Channel with Judge Jeanine Pirro on her show Justice. They discussed the president's visit to Saudi Arabia and its greater meaning and context. In fact, she flat out stated that Saudi Arabia gave Trump a warmer welcome than Obama because they like that he is a stronger man. Coulter said, I like the fact because Trump is a strong alpha male leader, that the Arabs respect him. They don't respect the beta male Obama. And you see that. He's getting a warmer reception. In fact, they probably like that radical Islam stuff. I don't think they mind. MSNBC was going crazy, they will be so upset with the Muslim ban. No, Saudi Arabia bans Christians, what do they care? They understand the idea of sovereign nations. Upon the arrival of the president and his administration officials, he was greeted with flags, fanfare, and a musical rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. The president first arrived in the capital of Riyadh, Saudi Arabia at the Royal Palace. One reporter Benjamin Hall said that before his arrival everyone was thoroughly excited that the banners and billboards depicting the incoming president indicated everyone wasn't looking forward to the visit. Hall noted that one of the reasons they were likely jubilant was because the president chose Saudi Arabia to be his first overseas stop unlike in the past when Western nations were the first stop on a foreign trip. Whether this was deliberately done or not is unknown. In light of this recent trip, the media has been referencing the trip that President Obama made to Saudi Arabia during his tenure as president. President Obama made headlines when he bowed and even reportedly kissed a Saudi Arabian dignitary. Conservatives were pissed that the commander-in-chief and leader of the free world was seen as in a lower position than someone else. They yearned for someone like Donald Trump who exuded strength. Pete Huggs said, on a foreign trip you don't usually see this, level of pomp and circumstance. The level of excitement is wildly ironic and funny because liberals in the United States have routinely accused the president and his administration of being xenophobic and anti-Muslim. Yet they received a level of pomp and circumstance upon his arrival that is not ordinarily seen. While on the trip the president also took the opportunity to speak out against the fight against radical Islamic terrorism. This is not a battle between different faiths, different sects, or different civilizations. This is a battle between barbaric criminals who seek to obliterate human life, and decent people of all religions who seek to protect it. This is a battle between good and evil. Drive them out. Drive out the terrorists. Drive out the extremists. Drive them out of your places of worship. Drive them out of your communities. Drive them out of your holy land and drive them out of this earth. We can only overcome this evil if the forces of good are united and strong and if everyone in this room does their fair share and fulfills their part of the burden. Muslim majority countries must take the lead in stamping out radicalization. We must stop what they're doing to inspire because they do nothing to inspire but kill. He gave the speech at the Arab Islamic American Summit. It may very well reset the relationship the president has with the Middle East as it aims to set a peaceful and hopeful note for our relationship to come. During his speech, he almost seemed to disassociate religion from terrorism and called Middle Eastern countries to aid in getting rid of the threat of radical Islamic terrorism. In the era of Donald Trump not only will these Middle Eastern countries be hiring and buying American people and products but our relationship with them will get exponentially better. We will also have a new ally in the fight against radical Islamic terrorism. An ally we never would have had under the previous administration. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.